Good day. Today I'm going to talk about our movements towards an ecosystem of interoperable data infrastructures and particularly I'm going to talk about the contributions from the Canadian Consortium for Arctic Data Interoperability or CCADI and CCADI is a consortium that was developed in 2015. It brings together a number of different Canadian organizations including universities, private sector, indigenous organizations as well as government. What we're aiming to do overall is to develop an integrated Canadian Arctic data management system, a distributed system, and that ideally is going to facilitate better discovery of data, better access, usage, interoperability, and supporting a number of different co-designed applications that are accessible to a large number of different user bases. We are referring to our system as the Arctic Research Data Infrastructure, or RD, and that is bringing together those systems from all the different partners that I've mentioned. And we're going to be using that system to support the more efficient and effective data usage. So how can we actually not only increase the, the sort of economic efficiency, but also the technical efficiency and the usability of the data? We're going to be supporting more common applications such as scientific research but also looking towards operational activities as well as working in partnership with indigenous organizations particularly Inuit organizations like the Inuvialu Regional Corporation to work towards Inuit self-determination in data as well as technical aspects of, of data interoperability and sharing and we're also working towards supporting better policy development through increased and enhanced data access. In my next slides, I'm going to talk about the technical aspects of what we're doing, but I think a big part of the interoperability that we're, we're working towards and the systems that we're working towards are focused on the people involved and the human interoperability. So to try and achieve this, which has actually been a big part of our efforts and success, I think, so far, as well as challenges, is the development of a number of structures that help bring together this team of people or team of organizations who haven't worked closely together before and are now working to develop this integrated system. So this includes the establishment of a number of different teams. We have a science team that aims to identify the core science and research questions, management team and an engagement team, both of which are working towards keeping the overall project going and making sure that we're engaging not only internally but externally with partners. We have a governance team that includes a day-to-day -day executive keeping the project going. We also have an international board of directors. And then one of the most active teams is our technical team, which is developing the technologies and the data tools that are going to support the system. Part of that has been the establishment of a number of different tools that help us work together, including document management and source control, different communication uh, technologies that help us with day-to-day -day, uh, co communications and online meetings, and then tools to help us to support the, the documentation of the process as we move forward. We're doing all of this within the broader data community and trying to connect to the broader data community, so participating and, and taking leadership roles and things like the Polar Data Forum, as well as the Polar to Global uh, Interoperability Hackathon that's been happening over the last year and a bit and other different activities. The next major one for us is going to be the Canadian Polar Data Workshop happening in February of 2022. From a technical perspective, this is a diagram of the CCADI architecture. I'm not going to go into all of the different aspects of it, but it is a multi-tier architecture. The base layer is where the partners are engaging primarily and publishing metadata to start where a number of the different partners have uh, polar data catalogs, some focused on Arctic, some Arctic and Antarctic, but working with them and providing resources for them through our, our funding to ensure that they can share that metadata in standardized interoperable ways. We're also uh, working at the same time together to ensure that those partners can publish data. And so many of, many of them have data holdings, data repositories that are in place, but they may not have service layers on top that allow people to readily access the data in, in real time. And so we're working there at that, that publication layer partner by partner. In the middle tier, 
we are working to uh, bring it all together through integration. One of the value propositions that our partners have indicated is to bring together these different data sets as integrated products. So that includes the metadata, integrating using different standards, including DOI, schema.org, and ISO standards, as well as bringing together the data using a number of different standards and technologies, including DAP, various OGC, and other tools such as linked open data. Much of this involves translating between different vocabularies and different semantics. So one of the key tools that we have at the base, both for metadata and data, is our semantic mediation layer. And lastly, we have the applications layer. We have a number of different use cases focused on different uh, research topics and they are developing a wide range of different applications including some that are, are simple command line others that are using thing tools like jupyter notebooks which is also oriented towards command line but includes other kinds of documentation and we're using uh, things like the analytical platform including the polar tep platform as well as more common gis tools like arcgis and developing different types of visualization systems. Semantics is a big part of what we're doing when we're looking to do that type of semantic mediation that I mentioned, translating from different vocabularies from one to another and doing the odd integration. That involves taking data represented as linked open data, which is a, a type of semantic approach, then using that along with ontologies for semantic mediation, where we're looking at mapping out the different equivalencies, understanding how the data sets relate to each other or the metadata standards or documents that are being shared relate to each other. And those are then being integrated within a software stack that will allow us to provide those integrated layers. I have very limited time today. I won't say more than that right now. We are aiming to launch a number of our services early in 2022, at least at a prototype level and working towards production level, towards mid-year and later in the year 2022, launching some of the applications that are based on those infrastructure layers. If you have any questions, my email is at the bottom of the screen. I just want to say thanks to all of our partners and I want to thank our primary funders, Canadian Foundation for Innovation.